all staying healthy and safe. Thank you all so very much for supporting my channel. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a thumbs up as well. In this video, I will be calculating correlation coefficient between variable x and variable y. Before that, I'd like to discuss a little bit about what is correlation. Correlation is a measure which shows relationship between two variables. Correlation also shows both the strength and direction of relationship between the variables. The strength and direction can be shown by calculating correlation coefficient of which the value ranges from negative 1 to 0 to positive 1. So if the value is close to negative 1 or positive 1, the strength of relationship between the variables is strong, whereas if the value of correlation coefficient is close to zero, then the strength of relationship between the variables is weaker. In order to calculate this correlation coefficient, we will need to use function called corel. In order to do that, what I'll do is I'll type in equals and then type in corel. The first part inside the braces is array 1. Array 1 over here is the values of variable x, which I'm selecting. And then after that, it will be comma. And then array 2, which are the values of variable y. And then I'll hit enter. So you can see here that the value of correlation coefficient is for these, this data is negative uh, 0.766-8602. In the range of correlation coefficient, which we had negative 1 to 0 to positive 1, um, this value that we calculated is close to negative 1. That's why the relationship is, the strength of relationship between the variables x and y is strong. Um, while uh, the strength is strong, the relationship is in a negative direction because of uh, the negative sign over here. This negative relationship can also be shown using scatter plot. So what I'll do is I'll select this data and then insert a scatter plot over here. So in this scatter plot, what I can do is delete these grid lines and then add a trend line on for the these um, data points and I'll go ahead and add trend line. In this trend line you can see that when the value of x is increasing in x-axis the value of y in y-axis is decreasing. So this is how you can uh, show the negative uh, uh, relationship, uh, the direction of relationship being negative between variable x and y, uh, utilizing scatter plot and trend line as well. Hope this video helps you. All um, if this video helps you, please consider giving this video a thumbs up, and also please consider subscribing to my channel. This helps a lot to grow my channel. And thank you all again. Y'all have a good day. Bye bye.